Hi, I'm Shane Harris with the Alba Cooperative Extension System, and this is Clay Harris. He is a 4 H -er for Tallapoosa County 4 H program. Today we're going to be catching bugs. We got some bugs here that we want to show you, and some things that we video that we shot of some bugs out in the wild. It's interesting to go out inside this spring and to catch bugs and see what you might can find. All you need is a jar and basically a stick, maybe even a camera. So today we have 10 bugs as part of our bug show. Stay tuned. Our first creepy crawly is a wolf spider. It's not an insect, but it's in the arachnid family. Wolf spiders are hunters. They're agile hunters with excellent eyesight. They mostly live in solitude and hunt alone and do not spin webs. They're the big spiders we have around here. Next, we have a pill bug, or some people call them roly polies. They live on the ground in leaves, under rocks, maybe under rotting logs. They feed on decaying matter and rotting plants. They're best known as the roly poly because they turn into a ball when threatened or fear they're in danger. Because as you can see, they'll soon come out and start moving around again. Pill bugs live in wet locations. They're typically found under damp objects or in around organic matter, especially rocks. They can live up to two years, believe it or not, and they're most active at night. The sure sign of spring is when you see the eastern tiger swallowtail flying around. What a beautiful sight to see these wonderful insects every spring. The eastern tiger swallowtail is the state butterfly of Alabama. As you can see, they're beautiful butterflies and they like to feed on nectar and other flowering plants during the springtime. The males are typically yellow with black stripes. The female can be black or sometimes yellow with the stripes. The swallowtail butterflies are some of the largest group of butterflies on the continent. They're easily attracted to gardens that have an abundance of flowers. These butterflies are great pollinators and are considered good insects. They can be seen flying in open roads, woods, meadows, even fields and parks. They're one of the easiest ones to catch and look at if you've got that quart jar ready to look at them and observe. Just be sure to let them go later. Here we have a, the patent leather beetle, sometimes called the Betsy beetle. <laughs> These beetles are really neat because they're about an inch and a half long, have dark, shiny, hard shells, and are just, just plain neat to look at. They're found in rotting wood, especially under stumps and fallen trees. They feed on the decaying matter in the wood. One neat thing about these large beetles that we have uh, is that they tend to be very social. There's a mama beetle and a daddy beetle, and they take care of the baby larvae or the grubs uh, in the little colony. Each pair can raise up to 20 to 35 new beetles each year. These beetles can live up to one year and are relative easily to maintain as long as they have access to moist, rotting wood. This is a neat beetle to go look for. You can even pick him up. He won't mind. All that buzzing that you're seeing right now is probably from carpenter bees. Carpenter bees are one of the first insects we see that come out that tell us that it is probably springtime. Carpenter bees are great pollinators and you will find them flying back and forth from many flowers at this time of the year. Many people mistake carpenter bees as bumblebees. They're not bumblebees as they lack the yellow part on their abdomen. Carpenter bees tunnel in wood and to lay their eggs where bumblebees actually live in colonies underground. Carpenter bees are known for boring holes into wood. You see here, you see a female about to enter a hole. There are two different types of carpenter bees. There are boys and girls. Girls have a solid black face, whereas males have a black face with a yellow type nose. You will more likely see the male carpenter bees hovering around your house and buzzing back and forth chasing other bees. <laughs> 